All right, guys, we are one day out. I thought in today's video, since I'm not going to be doing basically any training today, I would go over what I'm packing, what I'm taking to the tournament, and then I will also go over my warm-up stretching routine before I fight at the tournament as well. So first, let's go and break down some of this gear that I've got. First, of course, you need to make sure that you have your uniform. I always like to take mine on a hanger to try to keep it from getting too wrinkled. Make sure it is clean and it is washed because you want to make sure you're looking nice and fresh. Also, you make sure you have your black belt, which I don't have with me right now. It's over there. I need to go get it. But make sure you got your black belt, your uniform. And then next, gear bag. This is just a small gear bag, just a little Adidas one. I'll probably eventually get a bigger one. That's what I have for now. Taekwondo target, very important to have this. Um, so that way your coach can warm up with you. You can do some kicking. Now, for the gear. Headgears, one blue, one red. Got my shin guards, forearm guards, gloves, and then if you are doing electronic scoring, you need to make sure that you have Dado e-socks. Very important to have. You can Normally you can buy them at the tournament if you don't already have them. And then if you are not doing electronic scoring, make sure you have a chest protector. But so since I'm doing the Dado electronic scoring, I don't need to bring a chest protector. You just have to bring this here. It makes it a lot more simple. Now, for what I'm going to be drinking tomorrow, I'm going to have this bottle filled with water, and then I'm also going to have a Powerade Zero for some, just some electrolytes added. So I'm going to be sipping on these two things as I'm warming up for the tournament and then as well during my fights. As far as snacks go, these are going to be my go-to things. Just a granola bar and then a protein granola bar. Nice, quick carb source, and I know it won't be too heavy on me. I'm not going to feel sick if I eat that and then go fight. And also give you some of those energizing carbs as well. The most exciting thing we have over here is the camera gear we're using for tomorrow. This is going to be what's getting the main shots for the tournament, Canon C100 Mark II. And then for a second angle, we're going to be using this little Sony, I believe it's the A5100. So we're going to be getting two different camera angles, we're going to be filming all of my matches. Super excited. This is basically everything I'm going to be taking. Also, another important thing, make sure that your fingernails and your toenails are nice and short. And, oh yeah, mouth guard. Make sure you have a mouth guard. Make sure you mold it to fit your mouth. You don't want to just pop in an unmolded mouth guard because that's just not going to work during a fight either. So, this is everything I'm going to be taking. Now, let's go ahead and go over my warm-up stretching routine that I'm going to be doing at the tournament. Now real quick, I'm gonna go over just some of the warm up and stretching I'm gonna be doing tomorrow at the tournament. So basically you just wanna make sure that you really warm up these legs. First, usually I do some type of footwork movement. I'll do like, you know, front two, back two, side to side, crisscross. Um, another good thing I like to do is like just balance in your fighting sense, just kind of move around a little bit. More than likely, you're not gonna have a whole lot of room to move and warm up. So just kind of just bouncing in your fighting stance just kind of get those joints nice and loosened up. You can do a little bit of footwork. And then next you want to start doing some stretching. So you want to make sure that you really stretch your hamstrings. You can pull down to the front, pull down to each side, come down here, do this. You just want to make sure you don't pull anything. You want to make sure you're nice, loose, warmed up. After that, I do recommend you start doing some kicking. Do some basic kicking drills. Just doing just your basic kicks, do your knees, you don't want to go full speed or power on anything. You want to make sure that you're not wearing yourself out, but you do want to make sure that you are completely warmed up and ready to fight. Now, if you guys want to see my video I did of my full warm-up and stretch routine, I'm going to link it in the description box down below. Basically, everything in that video is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow as my warm-up, aside from doing some kicking, of course. And if you guys are watching this video right now, I'm probably already at the tournament fighting, getting ready to fight, or possibly already done fighting. So make sure that you go follow me on Instagram at Wong's Workout for all of the tournament updates. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. Tomorrow night, you're going to be seeing the tournament highlight video. And then Thursday, I'm going to upload all of my full matches with my commentary. So I hope you guys are going to be looking forward to those. I will see you guys tomorrow.